Corporate Adam, do you want to start? Sure. Hey, I'll start it off. Brief. Don't get stabbed. Don't get shot. We got two suits. Use them. Other than that, I don't have any. That's all right. Uh, I don't have much. Uh, if you need a 32, call it. If you need supervisors, call them. We can utilize subdivisions. Other than that, that's all I've got. Uh, Sheriff? Um, I know he said, you know, we got two supervisors. Use them. But don't abuse us. That's all I got. Raj. Alright. We good to go? No. Yep, we're good. Yeah. Alright. All right. Oh. Stay safe, guys. Do this. <laughs> Alright, guys. So. We're going to be rocking the 2014 Charger um, as Batch is in the Tahoe, Adam's with the FBIU covered, and I think Sheriff's in the uh, 2018 Charger, so we've got some interceptors needed if. Uh, oh. We've got some uh, interceptors if we need them. But, oh yeah, hang on, I need to do that on the macro key. And I'm. See that one starts fading up. CR two ten, gonna be forty one. After you, Mike. Charlie two hundred is gonna be. 41. Get the charge filled up, guys, and then I'm going to demonstrate a full beat switch today, hopefully, because I didn't get the chance to yesterday. Anyways, guys, we're getting the um, next uh, load of videos uploaded, I guess you could say, at the minute. Um, and then this stream will be getting uploaded tomorrow. Um, but yeah, once we've done that, we'll be golden. Ah! Wow. <laughs> Just saw this tower reversing at me. I'm like, bruv. <laughs> Oh, Don't worry, this thing's got uh, reversing sensors. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm not worried about the reversing sensors. I'm worried about <laughs> the fact that you're driving it. <laughs> wow. Alright. Alright. We'll see who crashes first, shall we? Hey, I'm not in a fire appliance. <laughs> this shit don't count. Stay safe. You too, mate. That's one thing I like about Batch as well, is like... I know he's a supervisor, I know he's a sergeant, I know I should be calling him sergeant or sarge or whatever, but genuinely he is very relaxed in that, you know, you can just call him mate or something like that. Um, and he is, because uh, he, he was recently promoted yesterday actually, and it's, you know, it's without a shadow of a doubt well deserved, but um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm quite happy that he got promoted actually, um, so yeah. Right, there's no one around here. One thing I like about Cleo as well is it's got a load of little alleyways which you can dog behind and everything like that. It's awesome. Ah, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong turn. <laughs> Definitely wrong turn there. Shit. 
Um, in fact, actually, you know what? Yeah, so I said I'd do our beat sweep. So, okay, so um, if I'm planning on doing a beat sweep traditionally, I will stick around the Polito area, so this sort of area. I will do a couple of runs through the properties around the back, stuff like this, just to make sure that there's nothing untoward going on. You know, and that's all there. So, like, yeah, okay, cool. Um, and, you know, don't get me wrong, a lot of times I'll only really ever do Polito in in my um, in my car. I won't really get out of the car unless I need to check a roof or something like that, if I feel that the roof needs to be checked. But, yeah, um, I'll try and keep it swift, um, because I'm... I'm I believe we're going to be getting a large call coming out soon, so uh, yeah, just bear with me on that. But um, yeah, other than that, um, I'll check the chicken factory car parks, I'll check all on this sector, I'll go down to Procopio, um, over that way, motel parking lot, this parking lot here, uh, yeah, I'd, I would be going through Polito like a needle in a haystack kind of thing, because Polito is where we start off, so it's, you know, it's good that we try and keep ourselves warmed up and like, um, you know, we're sort of preparing for the type of stuff we're going to be doing, looking out for trouble if we're not um, dispatched out to it as such. And I don't believe we have an active dispatcher on tonight, so, yeah. doing 20 miles an hour on the freeway. God give me strength. Okay, he's picking up a little bit, thank the Lord. I went to the gym like two days ago and my chest is still hurting. Ow. energy going.
of wind stuff. No, nothing interesting at the minute. Um, just patrolling, we just got on the ship about five minutes ago. Um, what's that? From what, I've, what I can tell so far, uh, Fletcher and FP has been promoted. Uh, but Fletcher, obviously, we wouldn't know that yet. So, yeah. I just said, obviously we don't know that yet. Now at the minute I'm just going through my beat sweep. Um, so we're going to check the Tonga Hills next. Go around there and then, yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, shut up and 10 to open me then. What's your call sign again? Winter says 222, isn't it? One sec. Are you actually going to be coming on? calling or you're watching my stream I hope as you're doing that paper you better not be procrastinating like I suspect you is right now two thirty six it's gonna be a property check five zero three eight Barberino Road twenty four seven Seriously, Winters, I don't mind you having to stream up in case, like, you know, if, if something big happens, then sure, by all means, but, like, while we're just patrolling, just try and get your paper done, because that's important if it's for your schoolwork or whatever. You better not be, yo, you better not be texting and driving right now. Thank you, Sheriff's Office, property check. Everything all good here, sir? Hello? Anyone here? No, no one's here. I think I just walked in on a closed door. Uh, no entry, staff only. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh wait, no, we're still on duty. Can't buy any beer yet. I mean, what? Huh? Huh? hasn't been tampered with. Nah, we're good. No IEDs in the, uh, in the bin. Nope, that's good. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, I would say turn the heater up. Two thirty six can be tonight code for property check. <laughs> right, let's 
Should I turn left or right here? Do I want to go check the properties down here and come back up, or do I just want to straight go into Tom Hills? Tom Winters make my decision for me. <laughs> I can't make a decision. Uh, 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 negative guy for you, I got someone behind me making choice for me. Okay, you know what? No, I'm just gonna turn right uh, and park up here for a minute. Okay. Yeah, it's called parking. It's just that then I got a bit of space that if I need to, I can get out of my car without getting my door written off. God damn! Be busting my balls like that. Yo! Oh wait, hang on, we wanted to turn down there. My bad. Yeah, like I'll be honest, it, it's kind of strange because. Another 24-7? Really? Oh, man. It, it's kind of strange, actually, because ever since... I, I don't know, like, ever since a couple of days ago, I've actually enjoyed patrolling. Uh, two... <sighs> Go off to Dirk. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I just... I'm just been involved in a rollover. 10-4 location. Uh, uh, <coughs> Cassie Trail 1099. <coughs> That's gonna be 10 4. Can we have a unit go ahead and 10 1? About this one? No, never mind. Probably just. I need a <coughs> fire if I can. Tempo, we got it in route. 206, be advised, we're gonna be three miles out, just over. You're uh, unreadable. 206, I'm gonna be about three miles out if you want me on route, Sheriff. Ten four, um, currently in route as well. Ten four. Clarify two thirty. Are you saying one zero nine four? Two hundred to two thirty. Can you give your location? Yet?
you copy the last 1099? Found him at all, Sheriff. Haven't located him yet. Alright, I'll uh, do you want me to pack him up there this way or do you want me to take south side? Just a second. It's got to be on this side, right in this area here. Yeah, Rog. I'll, um, I'll go check back up there then. Have you guys located the down officer at the summit? Negative, still looking. 10 4, stand by for a track. <laughs> Dispatch 233. 10 4, be advised. I'm pinging his location now. Uh, I'm also pinging your location. Be advised, you're in the general vicinity of him. He seems to be on a dirt. Up, uh. Up on the dirt road, more heading towards Route Run at this time. That's my last known pinging location at this time. 10 4, is it farther down the dirt road that I'm on? Be advised, it's gonna be going up towards Route 1. That was the last pinging location on the dirt road. 33200. Go ahead. It's gonna be on the opposite side of where you guys are. I'm on the uh, northern side of Kathleen. 10-4. 236, can we confirm the north side of Pasty or the south? Be advised, that's unknown at this time. That's my last ping location at this time. Uh, it's gonna be a little while for another ping. 
turn for 233 for you guys. Dispatch out the channel. It's gonna be on the opposite side, uh, right before the big, uh, like right in the middle of the end. Can you advise location again, please? Dispatch and one back counter idiot. 33 eyes on. Charlie 200, would you still like to uh, signal 100 in fact? Uh, negative, I think all units are out here, so. 10 for our be advised, all units, signal 100 is now lifted. 2324 Zulu Town. I've moved around minute. 33-200. Go ahead. You're looking on the map directly north of 1099, the second road farther up than that. If it's on the top portion of that large curve, that's where I got him. 10-4. 236 advised, I've got Medic 5 with me now, I'm just uh, guiding them in. Dispatch Charlie 200. Go ahead. Be advised, are you clear to copy a bolo at this time for the uh, units? Am I clear for what? 10 4. 10 4, all units, please be on the lookout for a black sedan, black SUV, and black motorcycle. Reason's gonna be for PD down at the docks for suspicious activity. Uh, RP. PD states that it's going to be three people in black suits. Bolo will be in CAD shortly as soon as I get the email with all the info. 23 over here. Two five six two five three. Dispatch someone check. Two five six two thirty three. Send it. Just to confirm this is going to be the road directly north of. 1099 on the map. It's gonna be two roads on the other side of the river front. You're gonna go up the big loop, continue on the right side. I'm gonna be right at the top of that curve. Stand by, so. Where is he? Stand by. So. Not you, Andres. Um, hey, where is he, officers? Is it in the. Kurt, is it the second road up from north of 1099? Deputy. One sec. So I'm gonna leave my siren right. on so you can trace it. Right. I gotcha. I gotcha. Is he to our right? Yeah, down there. Yeah, okay. we're on our way to you now. Guys, do you want to bung a load of kit in the car and then uh, I'll take uh, one of you up with me? Yeah, I've got other units en route, um, so oh. yeah. Andres and grab a kit, we're gonna go with him. Two thirty six two five from first now with medic five one team with me at the bottom of the road. We're gonna load two thirty six up with some medical equipment and uh, we'll send paramedics over to you. 
Good copy. Then I was like, I've got never wanted disabled. Come on, dude, that was so close. Hey, once you drop us off, I need you to go back to where where you met us, and uh, go get the other units and route, please. Yeah, roger that. Dispatch 10 one county radio. Dispatch Charlie 2. Hey, bud, can you hear me? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. 73 What's on going on? Uh, uh, medics here fucking roll are this here damn thing, man. Um, okay. Currently treating. Well, that doesn't uh, sound like a lot of fun. I'm just going to check you over real quick. 10 4. Just going to get a little. Dispatch is going to be 10 1 Metro. One second. The other thing I do just want to mention is this thing is probably. Red Hill, welcome to the stream, bud. Uh, Winters, if you're still here, go ahead and have a good class. Make sure you pay attention. Don't have this stream loaded in the background. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that, but yeah. Two thirty six counties. Two thirty six counties. Our channel. Ten four. I'll be ten one five round. Firefighter twenty car four. Go ahead. I thought uh, firefighter thirty five was on brush twenty eight. Uh, he should be on rescue 28, Craig. From, apparently he's on engine. Cop, you guys said in route. <laughs> SO2. Hold yeah, on. brush 6 is in route to the officer down. Cop. Medic 5, brush 6. Brush 6. What's your guys' ETA? We're going to be about 5, 6, Mike. 10, 4. SO236 to FT responding units, be advised I'm going to be just north of Mile Mark November on Route 1 to guide you guys in. Two thirty six, Firefighter 20, you're extremely. 10 4, that also now. Any better? 10-4. 10 do you copy my last? Negative. Be advised, I'm going to be just north of my marker, November on route 1 to guide responding units in. Ten four. 4 SO-236, 10 one back to county. Two thirty six back in channel. God, that's so confusing. Mm -hmm. 
Sierra 210 County, can anyone advise if we actually got the photos through from those three wanted vehicles in the city? Be advised, I'm not seeing them on the active photos list at this time. Temple, we're going to units that are available there, Tenor. Uh, I could be in route if you need me. Temple, I've just seen a black Vapid Riata. It's driving pretty recklessly. Um, need addition 32, seems like. Two thirty-six. As soon as I've got FD personnel to the scene, I can break off and assist also if needed. Charlie two hundred is coming down the path. Simple. Sierra two ten is going to be on a traffic stop. Postal four zero one three. It's going to be just off Joshua Road. Uh, it's going to be just west of the airfield. It's going to be on a black two-door Vapid Riata. Uh, on an occupants at this time. 10 for Charlie 200, General. Two thirty-six. I'm going to break from that as well and uh, head on route to to Ten's location. Sorry, but if needed, then, um, then medics fives can guide FD location in because yeah, we got an active polo, which is a possible armed suspect then. Batch is going to need all the help he can get. And I have a feeling that if they aren't even responding up Route 1, I have a feeling they've gone up the Cassidy Trailway. Or from uh, past Stab City. Yeah, Charlie 200's 23 in the area. What's your exact location? Uh, it's going to be close to post of 4013. It's going to be a dirt road. Uh, the dirt road leads behind 4020. It's going to be where the uh, like oil machines are. 10 4.
Oh, here we go. 236, sure. Go ahead, show me 1023. Hey, um, hey, what's up? Uh, so Pulis Guyver for Reckless Driving means he was like, I mean, back there, you know, the crossroads back there by the gas station on 68 Cross of Joshua? Yeah. Uh, he literally just drove right in between the intersection, didn't even have a lane, just drove straight through it, up the side of a mountain, and up and over it. Now he's telling wow. me he has 500 pounds of Tannerite inside the back of the truck. Um, right. Yeah, I. <clears throat> this, this one's kind of stumped me. It's in explosives. Uh, yeah, he said it's safe, providing we don't shoot it. Um, okay. That's kind of why I've got him out of the car. I've got him standing over there, because I just don't trust it. Yeah. But I'm going to ask the sheriff now. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. Uh, long story <laughs> short, put this guy over for a reckless driving. He uh, cut across his, the uh, crossroads back there, to straight to the middle of it. He's got 500 pounds of Tannerite in the back of the truck. Uh, does he have permits to uh, carry? He's given me all of his information, but right now I wanted to get him away from the truck Dispatching just to make sure he didn't to, try and do anything or Charlie. it didn't explode. So, yeah, go ahead and bring him back here by. Uh... So, okay. do you Dispatch go ahead and come Charlie. back here for us? Go ahead. 1073 on the officer down. Uh, currently 233 is still on scene. Treating, I had to peel off for another call. All right, sir. So, um, so quick question. Dispatch All the information firing. you gave me, were there any licenses in here uh, for you to actually transport the explosives? Uh, actually, I think I left that one back in the truck. Okay. Um, have you got anything inside the truck I need to be concerned about? Uh, besides the tannerite in the back, no. All right. Um, would you mind go ahead and actually get that? dock it for us just so we can actually prove you have the right cover to actually take these explosives with you uh, yeah let me go grab it all right one of my officers here are going to follow you actually we're going to follow you just to make sure you don't reach anything all right literally googling what tannerite is tannerite is a brand of binary explosive targets used for uh, firearms practice and solving kit form Okay, oh, so you got a class three explosion? Yes. Okay, which one am I giving it to you? Uh, I think the sheriff's better at handling this kind of thing because I, yeah, just handed that to him. Okay. Um, let's uh, now let's move away from the truck yeah. that could go boom boom. Yeah, sir. Uh, should you gonna come back here so we're safe? Yeah, Rog, come on, mate. Um, so how stable is Tannerite then? Uh, not stable enough to be driven around in a personal pickup truck in the back of it. So say maybe hitting like dirt mounds and stuff like that. That's probably a no go as well, man. Uh, yeah, no, uh, okay. we probably need to notify fire, maybe, or, uh, A bomb squad? Yeah. I don't really know what to do with this one. We'd need SRU if we got EOD well, on, but. Well, no, well, the thing about it is, is, uh, We'd have to call the military over here because they're the only one that's going to have a proper vehicle to haul that with. Ah. Good point. Um, yeah, so will I call fire down down here to get them to secure the area and then notify... I, I don't know, the military maybe? I mean, I've actually got a CDL. You can check me up on it. But I've got a CDL from when I was uh, delivering car parts around Los Santos into the county. So, I mean, if needed, I can. Right, but they have like a special type of truck to actually maneuver this stuff out of here, like a bomb-proof truck. And we don't have access to it. Right. Oh, actually, correction. That's more like a thousand pounds of tannerite. Oh, okay. 
Wait, how much did he say it was before? 500 pounds. Oh, God. Brilliant. Yeah, that's doubled in size now. <sighs> Brilliant. Oh, this yeah. just turned into an all-out explosive situation. I'll be back in a minute. That's fine. That's it, but you can't be transporting it in the back of a pickup truck jumping sand dunes, not an explosive. Yeah, that was like, I was fine with him doing it because I didn't see the explosives, and then as he drove past me, I spotted the explosives, or like the, the explosive marker in the back, and then the fact that he went across the intersection the way he did, that's why I pulled him over. But, I mean, he's being really reckless with that stuff right now. Yeah... That's a no-go. Yeah, um... I mean, do you want to inform the military to come down here and pick up the stuff, or...? Because, I mean, he was driving pretty recklessly with it all. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and write this citation. Do you want to handle the military call, or do you want me to do it? Because I don't know how to call them. Shoot, can you just keep an eye on it for me just while I go and uh, write up these citations for him quickly? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and I'm going to 10 1 to fire radio. Alright, perfect. Okay. Um, just make sure he stays away from his car, just keep him there on the uh, ram bar for me. Yeah, Rog. Hey, might just take a seat on the ram bar for the time being. Mm -hmm. Nice one, appreciate it. So, have you ever shot Tannerite before? Yeah, it's used for targets, isn't it? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Now, I've, I've never quite encountered it under these circumstances before, I will admit. What are you, where, are yeah. you, where are you transporting it to, anyways? Uh... I was gonna go out to my friend's house, he owns a big plot of land, and we were gonna go blow up some vehicles. Some vehicles? Christ, that sounds yep. like a uh, pretty intense uh, outing. Is this something you just do for a hobby, or is there something behind that? Well, actually, this is gonna be my first okay. time doing it. Um, what we're we doing is get the military down here and get them to deal with it? Okay. Um. Why, why have you decided to do that then? In fact, let's okay. uh, just go. I'm step trying to the look in the code here. of law, um, trying to see what we can get him for. I don't actually see unlawful transport of uh, explosives in here, but I'm still looking for it. Okay, so what did you say? What did you say you Dispatch were? Dispatch to Charlie 200. Doing these explosives. Go ahead. 
Yeah. Be advised, can I go ahead and get the last 73 of the ops? bunch of videos on the internet about it and I thought it was gonna be cool to do. Uh, right. check with and, 233, he's what, on that location. What's, uh, is this something that you've done before? Is this something new that you're planning on? Oh, this is gonna be my first time ever doing it, so. Alright. Why do you, and why you, uh, why have you decided to do it then? Because, don't get me wrong, but it seems a bit extreme to blow up some vehicles. Uh, because they're junk vehicles and because it looks really cool to do. Alright, oh, fair enough. What were you planning on doing this then? Um, out uh, in Toledo, my friend on the big plot of land out there in the middle of nowhere. Right, whereabouts in Toledo? Uh, let me look. Yeah, it's near Postal 2059. 2059, eh? Okay, spinning. Well, actually, closer to Grapeseed, but. Right, okay. Fair enough. Um. Yeah, that's. Certainly interesting. Um, yeah. Not really much more I can really say to them. You're just literally doing it for fun. Yep, that's all it's for is fun. Right. Okay. The military base and have them come up here with an right. EOT, just, uh, EOD vehicle just to pick up my, uh, 1,000 pounds of tannerite. And I'll uh, be back with you in a minute, sir. Yeah, okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. You might have hey, a uh, license Sarge. to yeah. own. Just a word, real quick. Okay, this gentleman is saying that he's transporting the Tannerite to blow up some junk vehicles at 2059, just uh, east of Grapeseed by the coast. Um, and he's saying it's first well, time he's done it. 2059 is private property. Yeah, it makes. Yeah, he's saying he's doing it the first time and everything like that. I'm just like, hang on a minute, why would you. I mean, I understand thrill seeking and stuff, but. A well, thousand... Tannerite isn't very stable, and the way he's driving it right now just kind of proves he's not to be in possession of this stuff. And how he even got that license is beyond me. Um, yeah. I'm probably going to try and speak to the sheriff here to see if we can somehow revoke that license, because from what I was seeing by observing him, he was reckless. He was jumping dunes. Yeah. I mean, that one down 68, the, like the near vertical one, Yeah. he straight up went up that and landed it. And I'm just like, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, it's not safe to have it that way. But hear me out as well. Tannerite, you don't need a lot of it to make a loud bang. No, if he's... and a thousand pounds of it, that's a bit excessive. Exactly, and especially if he's just doing a thrill-seeking of blowing up some junk vehicles, that doesn't add up to me. Yeah. Uh, that's what the sheriff says. Hey, sheriff. Yeah. Um, so basically he said he's going to go to 2059 and blow up a bunch of, like, wrecked vehicles. Um, I mean, that seems a bit excessive for a thousand pounds of Tannerite. Uh, yeah, that's um, way explicit. I told him that there's enough there to put a bit of pretty big size hole in sandy so Damn. um is there any way we could revoke that like the license that he has to carry the stuff and buy it because from what I'll, i saw he was really reckless when he was driving it yeah and i'll trust me i'll be putting a report in to the atf on that so okay yeah. all right well i'm gonna go ahead and sign in for these two things and he's gonna get over a thousand dollars worth of citations so yeah and, and then, then i told him that charging. the military's coming to get those Great, so yeah, and I should imagine probably charge him for that as well. So yeah, though I'll yeah the military will. Alrighty, sir. Uh, got some bad news from you. I'm sure you might already heard. Uh, the military is going to come in and take those explosives from you. Okay. 
Also, along with that, you're going to be receiving two citations. The first one is going to be SA107R-02, reckless driving. This is a uh, compilation of the fact that you have been driving pretty recklessly around Sandy. I've witnessed you multiple times. Um, and the second one is going to be SA107R-15, which is going to be vehicular endangerment. Um, just the fact that you were ramping this vehicle up hills and everything, and the fact that obviously Tannerite, it is apparently really explosive, so that to me is you're endangering people around you. Dispatch someone counter you. Uh, so this is going to bear a total of $1,050 worth of citations. Just go ahead and sign here the bomb. It's not a mission of guilt, so you're going to take care to take it how you see fit. You do have 30 days to pay the citation, and if you wish to take it to court, if you feel it's unjust, you are more than welcome to. And on top of that, you may be getting a bill from the military charging you for coming out to pick up the explosive support, okay? Uh, okay. Alright, sir, that's your copy there. Just take care of the vehicle to the military, come and clear the crates, and then once they come, uh, I'm not gonna impound your vehicle this time, but uh, just maybe, you know, don't actually transport Tanner right like that again. Yeah, okay. Alright, sir, uh, just stay on the guard for me and wait for the military to come, and they'll take the uh, explosives from you, right? Okay, we'll do. Yeah, right, my advice good. next time, sir, to avoid a fine like this, stick to certified deliveries. Yeah, but you get the adrenaline, the adrenaline going, so this way, it's funner. Okay, and are you thinking of more the public safety and the other road users around you, or are you just thinking of that adrenaline rush? Cause... Eh, adrenaline rush. Right, well, I suggest right, you so. think about other people than just an adrenaline rush. All your information here for you. Alright, uh, hey Sheriff, did they say how long they were going to be? They can't be that long, Batch. They're coming up Route I mean, 68. Yeah, yeah, yeah they should be here any second. Alright, perfect. I mean, where'd you even buy Tenerite from? Um. A, a place. Okay, what kind of place? I'm just curious, because like, I've never had this in all my life. I've never pulled someone over hauling Tenerite in the back of a pickup, so I'm just curious. Yeah, I bought it off the internet. Uh, and um, you had a license to buy a thousand pounds of it? Yep. Um. Uh, okay. What sort of permit do you have, sir? Um. Oh, one that I can make stuff go boom with. Uh. Sheriff, do you still have that permit on you? Uh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. I'm gonna be in my head for two minutes, okay? Yep. Yeah, there we go. Um, sure, they took the uh, tenor right. Okay, mate. No dramas. I'm back two minutes. Gotta be in my head for a minute. Okay. Yeah, I got. I just called the ATF too, so they're searching their database as well. Yeah. Yeah, Raj. Did you actually apply and get that permit from ATF, or did you buy that online as well? Um, I got that offline. Dispatch to one metro. Okay, so you didn't actually buy it from the government agency, you just bought it offline? Well, I bought it offline, but it was from the government agency. Okay, because usually they require fingerprints and need to be in person, but okay, we'll check. Sure, just real quick, do do these official documents usually like have a reflective surface off of them that you would see if I shone, shone a light on this? Well, normally they would have a 
photograph of his face and a seal on it and yeah i mean those aren't documents that are real easy to get but especially for transporting that amount of explosives something doesn't add up here because look the documents is the documents seem legit but the circumstances and the transport and everything at least this permit will be getting revoked at the very least but there's yeah. the potential for a possible fraud here if he's signed well, under false details or something to get this permit yeah I mean and, and that's going to be at the issuing agency yeah fraud department not really ours but okay. yeah I mean we can uh, hand it over do up a report and hand it over to investigations and let them follow up yeah run for that sheriff so okay. all right um is it your right to have the document back then or do you want to hold on to it for the time being in fact actually no uh, he will, yeah it's just, since we got the explosives he's not going to need it for right now anyways yeah. we place it in the file yeah rog he can get it back from uh the sheriff's office after they're done with the investigation if it's all legit legit Yeah, roger that. <clears throat> yeah. Now, sir, you might be uh, facing further charges after the investigation takes place and all that. We'll hand this. Yeah, okay. Sheriff, have we done background checks on his person and his vehicle yet? Yeah, he's, uh, well, I know I ran his name. I got his okay. name already here. It's okay. Josh Philly. Uh, so I got his information. Okay, dokes. I'll uh, just run the vehicle then, and then if that checks out, then I've got nothing else. Uh. Bloody hell. Six D Y K three eight nine. Getting used to this new cat is uh, definitely something. Right. Yeah, check this out. Reckless driving, vehicular endangerment. That's something that badge just yes, just put on, been put on today. Incident history, no, nothing like that. Okay. Well, I got nothing then. <clears throat> yeah, everything checks out, sure. Yeah. Right, um, do we want to wait for Sergeant Bachelor to get back, or...? I think we'll be good. Okay. Um, you're, are you in investigations? Negative. I'm canine in traffic. Okay. I believe Sergeant Bachelor might be investigations, though. Yeah. Hey, Batch. Yeah, he's still on the phone. Yeah, Raj. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, we got all the information. You got the vehicle information. Yep. Uh, we'll just do a quick up, quick blurb, and uh, we'll pass it off to investigations unit. Yeah, Raj. That. All right, sir. Um, I've got nothing else for you. Um, Sheriff, you got anything else? Sergeant Bachelor's happy now, I believe. So, yeah, unless you've yeah. got anything else, Sheriff. Yeah. No, I'm good. All right, sir. Um, yeah, you're free to go. 
if you need to, uh, I can fetch you doc any more documents or the keys or anything if you need any of those. But if you've still got those, then yeah, you're free to leave. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Drive carefully from now on. Yep. A thousand pounds of tannerite. Well, I never. Never had that before, guys. Straight up. He's gonna get nailed to the wall if he uh, if he's caught with that again. Two thirty six guys show me ten eight code for off that stop. Charlie two hundred, same traffic. Sierra two ten to Charlie two hundred. Go ahead. What's the status of that uh, ten eight right call? Uh we since you find them, military picked up the explosives, uh, wrote a quick blurb in the investigations log, um, noting that you were primary officer on scene with his name and you good, Adams? In it. Told me yeah. to be further investigations. We kept the uh, license itself. You don't need that any backup. Had on him. You don't need any backup. Nah, I should be good. Okay, just three, advise, three mate. That might be a bow load vehicle. It's gonna be 1011 westbound Joshua Road, just past Algonquin on a black two door luxury looking. That, that was the motorcycle I was after. Evening. 236, be advised, I may have that bowload motorcycle westbound Joshua Road uh, towards the Tannerite call at this time. Can I get one additional code 2 to my location? It's not going to be stopped just yet. For Charlie 200, I'll be coming back around. 10 4, be advised, we're currently going to be in the general direction towards Route 68 at this time. Right, it's going to be wearing all black, just passing underneath the railway bridge at this time. Nearest postal is going to be 4013. 10 4, I advise. 10 4, I'll uh, go ahead and light them up once we've cleared this junction. Ten four. 
Thirty-three, thirty-six. What's your time? Thirty-six. Be advised, it's going to be ten eleven. Joshua Road, four zero one four. This time on a black motorcycle. It's possible. Be advised, twenty eight is coming back to a Josh Finkelberg. DL, st DL status active. Be advised, he does have a registered firearm. Temple. Hey, so how you doing? Sorry, 12, 3, 10, 41. Back tonight. Okay, mate. Um, reason for the stop. Uh, actually, just real quickly, I noticed that you got a firearm on you. Is that locked and loaded, good to go at the time? Uh, I don't know why it would be. Okay. Um, if it's all right with you, I'm just gonna uh, take it off you just for the safety of this traffic stop. All right. Okay, dogs. Just, uh, just keep your hands on the handlebars for me, please. Uh, Sheriff, if I could pass this to you, please. Yep. Be advised got it. it is locked, loaded, good to go. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm Deputy Will Shield, the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Just to let you know, this interaction is being audio and video recorded through body cam and dash camera at this time. Uh, reason for the stop is we've uh, actually, uh, your vehicle matches the description of a vehicle that we're looking for at this time. Um, have you got any ID on you to uh, prove your ID, please? And also any documents relating to the vehicle, uh, registration, insurance? Yep, I got all that. Cool. All right. Where's that going to be located at? Uh, well, it's in my left pocket. I got okay. all the papers folded up. Okay. No drums if you want to reach out for those now. Alright, there you go. Okay, appreciate it. And can you just confirm the name on this ID for me? Josh Finkelberg. Brilliant. Alright, so time Mr. Finkelberg, I'll be back with you in a moment. Mr. Finkelberg. Yeah. Yeah. We run into each other again. Yeah. Uh, we're just a little bit on heightened alert. We had some crazy stuff going down in the city, so. We're just being extra cautious. Yeah, I've heard sirens all throughout the city when I drove through it, so I assumed something was going on. Two thirty-six to two hundred. Go ahead. Be advised. Can you remember what the reason for the bowler was on those three black vehicles? Um. Uh, Negative. Have they? Has it been posted in the? Uh, Negative. Not at this reason? time. Charlie two hundred three. I just got information that uh, there was a black car hanging out in Sandy Shores that uh, committed a hit and run on a golf cart. Currently lost eyes at this time. It's gonna be a black four door. Thirty three hundred three. I think I had that golf cart oh, sure. a second ago. I noticed it. Uh, um, just by the way, they already got those vehicles down in the city. So that's why the bullet hadn't posted. Right. That makes sense. Okay. I'll, um, I'll get this guy, uh, cut away then. Uh, yeah, I just placed his pistol on your trunk lid, so. Yeah, thank you.
Okay, Mr. Finkelberg, at this time, uh, it turns out you're not the person we're looking for. So good news for you. Uh, here's your documents back first. I'll let you go ahead and put those back in your pocket. Okay, and here's your firearm back. Uh, just appreciate if you could uh, keep the magazine out of the firearm until you've uh, cleared the scene. And at uh, some point down the road, if you want to... Uh, recheck your firearm then then that's absolutely fine all right okay sorry for bothering you have a nice day drive safe yeah me too see you later go ahead go ahead when you pulled that vehicle over with the tannerite in it did it have a mini gun Stacked upon the uh, the 210. Uh, negative. The roof is clear. 10 4. I think I'm behind that vehicle now, and it's got a large minigun on top. What the hell? Uh, 10 4. What's the 20? Smoke tree just off a of panorama. That's down the road from me. 10 4, are you pulling a 10 11 on him or? 10 4, I don't know how legal a minigun uh, outfitted on the top of a off road vehicle. I should not be transported out in the open like that. Advise, it looks like it's mounted to the top as though it has like a hatch and you can pop up and utilize it from like the back. Final stop is going to be 3044 off a of smoke tree. We're going to drift, definitely going to drift to that. So again guys, we didn't get to do our beat sweep. Kind of got it, but whatever needs must and all that and if anything we were in the right place for that uh deputy down call had i not taken the wrong bloody turning and gone halfway through tonga or oh, sorry tonga It's going to be 10 8 bit off my last traffic stop. 33 to 10. Go for 210. Are you 97 to back me? Uh, 10 for you. smoke tree road, I believe. Uh, Charlie 200 is on route to you. 10 4. I'm going to make contact, explain to him what's going on. When you guys arrive, I'll let you. 10 4. We'll be in route now. Probably about 10 seconds out. Like they've already got deputies on scene. So, in fact, I'll just quick. I want to have a nose as to what this vehicle looks like, as such, because yeah, what on earth? That was crazy. Charlie 203 Rudy County is be advised. It's going to be a dark blue station wagon uh, that was reported with the hit and run over here at the gas station off of 3008. I'm going to activate this traffic, I think, guys.
203 final stop, 3009 Zancudo Avenue on the cross of Marina. Can I get one additional? 256 on Marina. Ay, 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 how's it going? Pretty good. Uh... So they got into a verbal altercation. What the freak? Uh, what the uh, freak? Yeah. What the freak? Uh, um, Harry uh, what the shit freak? going on there. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, so they got into a verbal altercation here at the gas station right next to us, literally. Um, mail and that shirt form. coming up. Okay, thank you. Ah. <laughs> that guy, that uh, guy right there is definitely okay. high in some I'm meth okay. or something. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So he came up, started saying something to the guy in his car. The guy in the <laughs> car was pumping his gas, and then uh, the guy in the car, instead of like calling 911 or anything, he starts to get into a verbal altercation with the other guy, uh, and then hits his golf cart, which is now now everything that happened is on this guy's fault. So outstanding. Yeah, like if he didn't hit his car, well then they, nothing would have happened. But since he hit his car, uh, yeah, 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 it's now a hit and run. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Right? Yeah. That's what you guys saying? Cheers. That's the one. <laughs> Hello? Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? My name's Captain Valentine, Blank County Sheriff's Department. Reason for the stop is uh, your car actually came up on our system uh, as a bolo for a hit and run incident that happened literally right at the gas station behind me. I've been at no gas station. You've been at no gas station? Can you tell me where you've been for the past uh, three hours? Three yeah, hours, just around. Just around? Where's just around? around? Just around. Because I, I tried initiating a traffic stop with you before, uh, and then you fled from me. And then I no, terminated I the pursuit. You, behind me. you no, didn't, didn't see run. my. Okay. Alright, nope. you didn't see me turn around and you and try to chase you, and then you left? No, I didn't see nothing. Okay, can you go ahead and step out for me real quick? I got a few questions to ask you. Just come on, back, step back here. Could I ask what this is about? Yeah, I, I told you, your car was reported as a hit and run on a guy in a golf cart. Ah, uh, that hillbilly. Yeah, that, that, oh, now you know what I'm talking about, that hillbilly. Hey, he started it. He started it. Yeah. Okay, you want to tell me what happened then from your side of the story? Uh, I could do. Okay, go ahead. So basically, I was at the gas station doing what I do, pumping up, pumping the car with gas because it was low. He just comes up to me and just says, "Uh, oh, you driving like an asshole or whatever he said. And then he starts saying, oh, it's your mum's car and all this. And I turned and said to him, at least I can afford the car. And next thing I know, he's carrying on. He won't just leave the situation alone. And I must have accidentally backed into him. You must have accidentally backed into him. I've got window tint on the vehicle. It doesn't help. Yeah. I mean, your window tint shouldn't be that dark to where you can't, you know, accidentally bump into somebody, you know. Okay. All right. It's not that dark. It's light tint. Yeah, I know it's light tint, but, you're, you know, you said that your tint it doesn't really help. Well, I mean, you should. I've been that shouldn't to really be the excuse. I've been meaning to remove it. I've just not had the time. Okay. All right. So you do understand that you cannot accidentally bump into somebody and then take off from a scene, right? It's an accident. If you don't know it's happened, then. So you're telling yeah. me you didn't you didn't feel a bump at all when he backed up into him? No. Right. Okay. If you're gonna believe a hillbilly, you go for it. I mean, you just told me that you accidentally bumped into him. 
So it's yeah. nothing to believe. There's the, there's there's literally just the side of you hit the guy and then took off from a scene. Oh, can I go then? No. Can you what? Can I go? No. Now I gotta get pictures of your car. The guy wants to press charges, make you pay for his paddy wagon or whatever whatever you want to call it. I ain't paying for it. It's not worth anything. It's it's still his private property that you damaged. Well, he soon have insulted me. He well, started you, it. If, if he started verbally assaulting you or whatever the case may be, then you call 911 you say that somebody's making threats to you. And then you let us handle uh, it. Not you try to get yourself involved with it and then accidentally bump into it. That's not how uh, that works. That's pointless calling you. He's hardly doing anything, so... Okay, well, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but that's that's my job. It's not your job to take it into your hands and try to handle the situation yourself. Well... Because yeah. what if you tried handling it yourself and then the dude popped you in the mouth? I mean, you say we don't yeah, do well, anything, and then here's two of us out here now dealing with you for something that could have quite easily been handled in a mature conversation on the premises. Yeah, well, life goes on. Okay. So you said you backed up into him? Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, man. I gotta get, gotta get a picture real quick. Hang on. Do you want me to pose with it next? No. Do you want to get him to pose with it next? No, I'm good. Thank you. Sure. It'd be good for the album. I'm sure. Yay yeah, for running okay. noises, guys. Alright, uh, Shield, can you just talk to this guy real quick? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go talk to the hillbilly guy. Rudge. Alright, so run me through exactly what's happened bit by bit from the start to the finish, yeah. mate. So basically, I pulled up to the gas station, uh, started to pump gas because it was low. Uh -huh. He comes out of nowhere, starts saying, stop driving like an arsehole or jackass or whatever word he used. Right. I said, well, at least I can afford a car. And then he said, you're driving your mum's car. And then I basically said to him that at least I can afford one. And like, you know, you're a piece of shit. And and what do you think his comment was in reference to when he was telling you to stop driving like a jackass? I've been driving like a jackass, that's the problem. I ain't even seen him anywhere. Right, okay. I think he's confused about something. Yeah, well, we'll try and get this resolved now, but at the minute, um, because you've essentially made off from the scene, uh, it, it, we have to treat it as a hit and run at this time. Oh, I get that, but I can just give him insurance papers if he wants them. Well, we'll see what the gentleman says, because at the minute, the ball's in his court regarding this, so, yeah. Oh, um, you can always just, uh, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, well, at least it's only minor damages.
Where were you coming from, anyways? Uh, down Joshua Step City End. All ah, right. Okay. And where were we heading to? Just to come to the gas station. Gas station, and then just weather's nice. So I will see what's about. Yeah. Fair enough. And next one I know, he pulls up out of nowhere and that's it. The real Alex, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, bud. I mean, I can understand if I was driving like a jackass, but... Which I wasn't. I just think he's confused or... Okay. He thinks I'm someone that he's bumped into at some stage in his travels and... This is where we are now. Right. Okay. Well, um, what I would suggest is, uh, in fact, actually, if you just bear with me. Yeah. Double two thirty six challenge. Oh, oh, disregard. Uh, cap. Yeah. Uh, as per, I mean, what I was thinking in terms of because it's a collision that's happened, do you want me to do breathalyzer on both the individuals? Uh, the guy. I mean. No, I mean he, the guy on the caddy wagon, whatever you want to call it. I mean he's he can talk clear as day, and he doesn't show any signs of intoxication. This guy doesn't really seem like he's intoxicated. He kind of pointless. Yeah. Okay. No dramas. Now, if he was like kind of slurring his words a little bit, or had some type of dilation as pupils or whatever and, or non-dilation as you say and then yeah yeah rog i'm just thinking potentially if any alcoholic effects or substance effects may have worn off from the time of the incident to up to now see i kind of want to like SOP for at least British police, any collision, any collision at all, no matter if they're as beady-eyed as anything, it's always a breathalyzer. So I'll see what Valentine says to that. I mean, I could, I can leave it if you really want me to, but you know that that's just what's toying on my mind. If you want to breathalyze that guy, you can go for it. He's the one that you know hit the guy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alright, so, um, just because obviously the nature of the collision, um, that's happened, uh, are you willing to consent to a breathalyzer test? If I don't consent, there then I get arrested, and so cool. Well, You're I already mean, getting arrested, sir. Yeah, I mean, it's purely, yeah, you know, it's purely just because a collision's happened, we want to make sure that there haven't been any side effects or other influences that have affected this incident just do what you gotta do all right Charlie 203 can i get a county 51 out to my location 3009 zenkuda Mar Okay, so, so I'm just gonna, it's just real simple, all I'm gonna ask you to do is blow into this tube, make a tight seal around the tube with your lips, just keep blowing until I tell you to stop, okay? Yeah. Okay, dog, so, well, when you're ready, uh, feel free to commence the test. Gotta let it load up. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he blew into that good and proper. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh wow, it loaded fairly quickly for once. Okay, brilliant. Okay, you can keep um, the tube. Um, 
yeah you've passed the test so obviously you know i'm happy that obviously drink or drugs haven't been an influence in this in this incident now if right, you want to pat if you want to pat him down um uh -huh. and then put him in the back of your car he, he's gonna be going down to jail for 15 days for the hit and run okay no worries ah, come on it's a misdemeanor sir so it's not like you know it really it could be affects settled it yeah but it could be settled like insurance papers wise come on i mean you, that's not the fact that it, it's it can't be settled by that but you you literally hit a guy and then left and apparently that's the second or well you hit him once and then you almost hit him again and that's what caused the altercation where he called you a piece of shit shitty driver Yeah, but if I apologize, it won't be so bad. Yeah, I mean, I you... feel like you, 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 you should have done that a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was worried in case you tried to do anything. Is there anything in your car you should be concerned about? No, the car's clean. Okay. Just out of interest, so what's the uh, $100 for? Um, just, I do work, you know. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. It's just, uh, sometimes it's just a little more than what most people would be carrying. It just helps with gas and food and, yeah, bits. Okay, no worries. Well, um, right, I'll keep hold of your wallet and all that lot for now. Don't worry, it's not gonna, you know, we've got it in front of the camera here. 100 quids in I'll it, trust all you that enough. lot. But yeah, we uh, we got to get back to our custody sergeant when we get back to the station. You're fine. Okay, <clears throat> uh, Captain, I'll uh, yeah. leave this gentleman over to you. Okay, do you want to take him in while I get the car towed? I already got his arrest report written up. I just gotta drop it off the station. So. Uh, yeah, can do. Okay, perfect. Okay, dogs. All right. Okay, so at this time, uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford or want to be provided to you by the state of San Andreas. If you cannot, uh, sorry, if you uh, would like an attorney at any point during questioning, then you can request that right at any time during the uh, process, okay? That's perfectly, uh, perfectly fine. Okay, and with those rights in mind, are you still happy to talk to me, yeah? Sierra Two yeah. King County, can I get a oh, County Fifty One on my location for a black Vapid Riata? Um, gonna need. Okay, just mind your head when you step in the vehicle. For CS County Fifty One in channel. Okay, all right. 236 County. 236, go ahead. Be advised, they're going to be 10 6, transporting 1 10 15 back to the station at Sandy. 10 4. I'll see you back there, Cap. Yep. Charlie 203 County, I'll be going what over to San Diego so this time to be dropping up the restaurant. Say again, mate. What okay. year's your car? Uh, this one's a 2014 model. It's, oh, what on earth? Uh, uh, this one's okay. a 2014 model, mate. Fair enough. Yeah, this one's got all the uh, boys' toys in it because it's obviously one of the traffic cars. They like to have these go a bit quicker than the standard patrol ones. Ah, they get ya. Uh, okay, that's not weird at all. <clears throat> okay. Let's... Um... Uh, okay. Okay, dogs. Right. I am speed. Uh, as long as you're not on it, Captain, that's the main thing. Right. Okay, so I was just going to be uh, one Grant Morgan arrested for a hit and run at Sandy Shores uh, filling station. Uh, he's going to be in for 15 days. Cell 2. Yep, Rog.
Okay, mate, if you just want to step in the cell. And then just uh, come back up to the cell and uh, face away from me, please. Okay, fantastic. Cool. Okay, so um, this is near enough it. Unless you've got any further questions, um, that'll, that'll be us for the time being, mate. And DIC will be here to pick you up shortly. Ah, uh, you're good. Okay, so let's, uh, hang on, I think he's... Oh, God. I hate it when you get sticky cuffs. Okay, I think... I'm not going to ask. Yeah. Don't, mate. So, yeah. Just some of the people. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day, mate. Andrew. Well, Charlie for once, Warren was actually a bit of a one, 10, 15, <laughs> one time. Be... 10-6 in route to uh, Sandy State. Come on, get in the- 10 points. Why is it- Why am I getting in through the passenger seat? Can anyone tell me what that's about? Charlie 2 or 3, I'm gonna be 10-6 for about 10 mics. 10 bucks. So weird. 236, I'm gonna be back uh, code 4 tonight. 10 points, I'm back 10 eight. Two thirty six, ten eleven. Ten four go for the ten eleven. Final stop's gonna be Zancudo, cross of Nyland, postal three zero zero seven on a silver BMX, rider wearing all black, no assistance at this time. Ten four. Hey mate, how's it going? Uh, hi officer. Any reason why you're doing bunny hops in front of traffic like that? Oh. Hey. Oh. Come oh, back. I'm not the... <clears throat> Muscle spasm for some reason. Right, no worries. I'll just uh, stand here in front of you. Okay, dogs. Any reason why you're uh, why you're doing bunny hops in front of traffic like that? I'm just doing bunny hops because it's fun. Right. Um. Bear in mind. It's gonna be ten seven ten forty two. Bear in mind, I'm observing yeah, so some injuries to you as well, sir. You got a cut to your arm and also a fairly nice bruise on your face. Um, is that from doing these bunny hops? Uh, yeah, I was in the car park and I uh, face planted. Uh, and my spectacles are just broken. Yep, mine have too. Uh, one sec. Yep. Okay, that wasn't. <clears throat> that was weird. Uh, yeah. Um. Why? Why are you uh? Why are you doing bunny hops in front of traffic like this? I was I was just getting across the road, and I was just bunny hopping across the road. Right, and you didn't stop to actually stop to look across traffic. Yeah, I don't. Right. You got any idea on you? I can have a look at, please, mate. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll hand it to you. Cheers, mate. Oh dear. And ID, Jason Zero. Okay, mate. Just uh, sit in front of my car, I'll be back with you in a moment. Yep. 236, County. Go ahead. Can I have a uh, 2729 when available, please? 10 4, go ahead. It's going to be a first name of Jason, Juliet, Alpha, Sierra, Oscar, November. Last name of Zero, Zulu, Echo, Romeo, Oscar. 10 for advice when ready to copy 2729. 10 for when ready. 10 4, be advised. Jason Zero comes back to a white male with blonde hair. Currently, no warrants for his arrest and no previous warrant. Okay. 10 4, many thanks. 
33 county. There we go. Okay, mate, here's your, um, here's your ID back. Um, look. Cheers. I'm gonna say this now. Go to somewhere that is off of the, or away from the, the roads where there's active traffic, mate, because you will get hurt. And technically, I should technically be doing you for at least two traffic offences there, okay? Can you pin down your ass? Oh, oh okay. Uh, I'm sorry. No dramas. All right, take it easy. Um, I do know there is a skate park roughly off in the vicinity of that general direction over the other side of the railroad. If you want to try those, or try there. Um, right, other yeah. than that, Check the city three, has three. numerous, Check uh, three, numerous skate parks and, you know, isolated areas yeah, where you can, you know, definitely. practice stunting or whatever. Um, and then also, let me think, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? I think it's 4024 off Route 68. If, if you get permission from the landowner, I know that uh, they don't mind uh, people just chilling around the back there, uh, minding their own business. One thing I, <clears throat> must have thrown, sorry. One thing I will say uh, is that um, that area is known, uh, you know, for drug activity and all that lot. So I wouldn't recommend that as much during, you know, hours of darkness. If you catch my drift. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Um, other than that, mate, I've got not much else for you, so, yeah, uh, feel free to cut away at your leisure. Um, I've given you your ID back, haven't I? Yep. Okay, brilliant. Alright, mate, uh, well, yeah, take care, ride safe, and, uh, maybe ride with a helmet next time. Just, uh, cause, yeah, that mark on your face looks pretty nasty. Yeah, I, I jumped and I face, I let go of the bike and I face planted. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably not the uh, smartest move. All right, mate, go and have yep. a nice night, and uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Yes, you too. Bye. Right. Take care, mate. Two thirty-six, can he? Two thirty-six, can it? Be advised, I'll be ten eight code four off that stop. Ten four. Two thirty six county. Two thirty six, go ahead. Be advised it's gonna be ten eleven nearest postal three zero zero four on Alhambra Drive, right outside Sandy Shores Medical Center. Rider's gonna be a yellow dirt bike looking vehicle, rider wearing yellow and black. Uh, I've got one thirty two on scene with me at this time. the heck did he do to you? Uh, literally came right on my specs and came busting through the intersection with no lights on. Nice. Yeah. We'll, uh, just go ahead and clarify that. Uh, so how are you doing? Deputy Will Shield with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Uh, reason for the stop is running through that intersection with, uh, no lights on. No, uh, you must be blind because my lights are on. Uh, Your lights are off. Uh, my lights were on as far as I'm aware. Alright, uh, mate. If your lights were on, I would have seen you. Your uh, lights are off, mine were on. Right, okay. Well, uh, you got any ID on you that I can have a look at, please, mate? Or any documents relating to the vehicle? I can give you a name. Uh, that will do. Uh, first name's Travis. Uh -huh. Surname's Smith. Okay. Okay, Oaks, Travis, just uh, sit tight with us. If you just want to go ahead and turn the bike off for me, please, and I'll uh, be back with you shortly. Also, is your, I take it your name is going to be common spelling? Yep, T R A V I S, and then Smith is common S M I T H. Okay. Perfect. Alright, mate, just uh, sit tight with me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull off unless you need me. No, I think this would be fairly open and shut. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, no, nothing else. Gone like the wind. 
like all the other supervisors. I mean, what? Ah. Ah. <laughs> Try this with a... Okay. Uh, uh, we'll be pulling off from 236's traffic stop. I'll be resuming. There we go. Can't right. So he's taking. Ooh, what the hell? Two thirty six, Charlie two or three. Go ahead. You clear to uh, return, please. This gentleman's got an inactive warrant for murder in the second degree. Just given the nature of the warrant, I appreciate it's inactive, but uh, would appreciate another additional on this scene. Copy. I'll be flipping a UE, heading back. Over. Simple. Two thirty six, two county. Two thirty six. Go ahead. Do we know if a uh, police officer T. Drake is going to uh, be on duty with the LSPD tonight? Be advised, I believe he is 1040. 10-4, many thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, Cap, I'm not really sure what to do in regards to that warrant, because... What's his name? Uh, Travis Smith, common spelling. It says the warrant's inactive, but even still. Great, so I've stopped the guy. Travis who... Smith, date of birth 1203-92. Negative, I've got 1994. Uh, now I've got 1992, standby. Yeah, I've only got one Travis Smith in the system. He's not showing up with a warrant. Yeah, Rog, I think I've just had a glitch or something on the MDT. I don't know why it's come up with another Travis Smith. That was weird. Yeah, that was I don't know, hell man. Weird. Okay, never mind. Disregard that then. Cheers, okay. Captain. Okay, all right. Yep. Charlie, two or three, false alarm on that uh, inactive warrant. I'll be okay. Here's uh, your room. Oh wait, no, sorry, you didn't give me any information, did you, Travis? Okay. No, you can't um, say there's your name back. I yeah. mean. Okay, um, I've just got a couple of concerns with you riding this type of motorcycle on the road, because technically it's not road legal. Um, at the very minimum, you need to have a license plate displayed to the rear, um, and it's usually best advised to have uh, side mirrors on, but uh, obviously those are optional in San Andreas. Um, do you have any sort of, you know, license plate that you can display for the time being? I can if I go home. Okay, not to worry. Uh, where's home for you? If I remember rightly, it's uh, Procopio, I believe it's Procopio Drive. Up in Palio. Okay, mate. Um, what I'll do is I'll just quickly write you out a fix-it ticket and basically what that'll do at least for your journey home is if you are stopped by any other sheriffs or potentially the state police on the highway and um, you know you can just basically present that and say that you've been stopped tonight regarding the license plate if they bring it up um, and that'll cover you to get home then um, there's no there's no criminal or you know uh, nothing criminal about that no sort of thing you gotta do aside from get your license plate fixed okay Ah, uh, I appreciate it. Okay, just sit tight with me. I'll get that written up for you now. That's fine. This is... Alright. Technically, I wouldn't know that, actually, so... Just out of interest, mate, what is the uh, number plate for this vehicle? Ah, uh, da 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 you know, I don't actually know. Ah, right. Well, that's 
That's an issue. Uh, it's four nine. Yep. Uh, William, Juliet, Lima. Yep. One, one four one. Uh huh. Okay. All right, sit tight. All right, Travis, here's a fix-it ticket. Um, if I can just have you sign the top copy, um, and then I'll give that to you. Uh, sorry, I'll give the bottom copy to you, and then I'll be you'll be on your way. Cool. All right, Travis, uh, you're free to go once I turn my emergency lights off, okay? Thank you. All right, no worries. Drive safe. I shall. 236 County. 236, go ahead. Be advised, uh, going to be 10 8 4 off that stop one fix it t ticket issued. 10 4. Right now, can we get a fuel? <laughs> Go for 236. Can I have you respond to East Joshua Road, unknown postal at this time? A black and red motorcycle is being swerving around. The caller assumes that they are drunk at the time. for have we got a direction of travel by any chance? Be advised, the caller claimed they were heading east. Turn four. Two thirty six be advised uh, Marina Drive to Route thirteen of East Joshua cleared at this time. I'm gonna be westbound East Joshua. Motorcycle, roll me a 32. Bike's gonna be occupied two times. I might have that in talks, driver. The 36 is looking for. 10 4 on right. Guys, I also had a black four door go flying by me. Northbound 13 as well. Is going to be 3047 Panorama Drive across Route 68. 
It's gonna be on a black and yellow. I believe it's gonna be a Manchez. Rider's gonna be wearing black and yellow as well. Uh, no additional surgery is required at this time. Ten park. Charlie two hundred three to county. Charlie two hundred three, go ahead. Yeah, on a ten eleven three zero three nine, in the northbound lanes of Panorama with a um, blue caddy wagon, one time occupant, no additional thirty two. Ten four. Ten eighty. Northbound thirteen. Gonna be on that black and red bike. Two five six. I'll be just ahead. What's your twenty? Two hundred three. Be breaking off for the ten eight. Can be northbound thirteen. They just went flying past Josh. Coming up on Seaview. Ten four two five six. I'm just north of Seaview at this time. They're in the second lane. They're a good distance ahead of. Ten four uh, two five six. County. Do we have Foxtrot available? Two five six. Going to be eyes on. And it's going to be continuing northbound lane two at this time. Speeds in excess of seven zero miles an hour. Be advised, riders are going to be two up, donning black clothing. Uh, stand by. Both of those subjects are heavily intoxicated. Say both are intoxicated. 10 4, the one on the back had a beer, passed it up to the one on the front. The driver is potentially deaf. 10 4. Uh, 233, if you can take call out, please. I'm going to try and get ahead of the driver and try and wave him to the side of the road. Be advised, the rider is pulling a wheelie at this time. Tell me you're going to be this one. Stand for it, if you can. Uh, this rider's riding extremely dangerously, pulling wheelie stunts and also riding in opposing lanes of GOH at this time. Uh, at this time, the passenger isn't wearing a helmet, so I'm considering terminating the pursuit. Advised. I also did try to get ahead of the rider, and they didn't, um, they didn't yield, so it's going to be an act of 1080 at this time. Oh, sorry, correction, uh, the fact that the rider's death doesn't make, uh, doesn't factor in, rather. They've just gone off-road nearest postal 1036 into Mount Chile at this time. I'm going to terminate the suit. Yeah, I think they've gone just straight up chilly out at this time. Okay. They got yeah. some really good coordination for being drunk as shit. Yeah, I tried getting ahead of them because apparently, apparently Adams was saying that the rider may be deaf. Um, so obviously I've got ahead of him with blue lights, you know, um, and trying to wave him onto the side of the road, and he's just pulling wheelies and going in opposing lanes past me. So I was like, yeah, okay, now. Nah. Passengers are Whiskey Mike, uh, unknown on the rider at this time, um, so I okay. might be able to advise on that. Uh, 
As far as I'm aware, Ryder was... Two, four, Charlie 203. God. Can you activate Foxtrot 1 just to kind of get up in the air and keep eyes on this subject? We're going to try to get eyes on them again, but they last uh, took up towards Chilea Mountain near the logging factory up in... Some lobby around to Senior. Yeah, Valentine, just to advise as well, um, Ryder donning all black gear, passenger black top, I believe dark blue trousers, um, but uh, yeah, passenger didn't have a helmet on, so I wasn't happy continuing the pursuit with the manner of driving that the, or manner yeah. of riding that the Ryder was riding in. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's all fine. All right. Sounds good. Okay, dogs. I'll um I'll get back on GOH, see if I manage to pick him up again. Okay. That is frustrating guys. I'm, I'm like I wasn't happy with the safety of that passenger. And especially if they're drunk. Um but as Valentine said, actually they did have some fairly good coordination as well, so yeah. We will see what comes of that. So if I've got it, uh, they're going to be uh, eastbound Joshua Road heading into City Shore. At a higher rate of speed. Two thirty six, show me on route. Gonna be good to East Bound on Joshua Road, now making on East Joshua, gonna be the parallel to the two thirty six to Charlie two or three. Go ahead. Will we have permission for spike strips on this vehicle? They're gonna be on a bike. Ten four. Yeah, negative. Ten four. Still continuously recklessly driving, passing CV Road now. Two thirty six eyes on Foxtrot One. If you can continue updates, please. Ten four. Uh, approaching now thirteen. Intersection. Two thirty six. Be advised, this is gonna be a different motorcycle. Ten four. That bike was. Ruxley driving. Ten four. I'm gonna go search for another bike. Ten four. Two thirty six county ten eleven. Can so I help you? Back on the bike. Two thirty six. Go ahead. It's gonna be ten eleven southbound lanes of Sonora Freeway Route thirteen nearest post. It's gonna be two zero five zero just cross of East Joshua Road. If I can have an additional thirty two, please. Any available unit to go assist 236? Surely 203 is en route to 236 unless there's a uh, unit. 210, I'm going to be on Joshua across the Colossal. Copy, 210, you take it. 10 4. Two thirty six Fox Drop One. Go on. Can I have uh, exact uh, offences that this vehicle was committed, please? I was passing over double yellows and Mitchell East. Ten four. Be advised, I've got Fox Drop One. Fox Drop One, you're going to be looking for a bike with two riders on it, wearing both black. Yeah, it's unfair. I couldn't get in my camera fast enough. Okay, uh, so Deputy Wilshire with Blanco Sheriff's Office. Um, Reason for the stop is your manner uh, of driving observed by an airship. Uh, okay, uh, if you got your license and ID on you, please, mate. Uh, should do. Okay, dogs. Where do you think it's located at? Charlie 
Actually, two or three. Right there. You can go ahead and uh, cool. cancel can the, the uh, signal. Name of this ID, please. Should be Pete and Steven. Cool. Just uh, sit tight for me, Mr. Steven. I'll be back with you in a moment. Yeah, you know that. That truck's causing a massive distraught. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah. deal with that. It's gonna be 23. Hell, badge. It was yeah, up. we. I don't know why, but locals have been just deciding to park up on Route 13 for some reason, so I've had to do that as well in the midst yeah. of all this. Um, I couldn't even see you because this truck was blocking like the whole entire thing. Yeah. But yeah, go on. Um, Fox for once observed this motorcycle going, uh, or visually speeding. I've gotten clocked going at okay. 111 on East Joshua. Ooh. Yeah. Jesus. Um, as well as crossing over double yellows. Um, so yeah. I'm definitely going to be writing him up, but uh, I'm looking at potentially getting six points on him for the speeds up to that. Yeah, that's that's going to catch a reckless driving charge right there. Um, oh, definitely. Probably a felony. Definitely fair to maintain drive, lanes. Isn't it? Uh, it is. You can go to jail for it. Uh, depending on how many times he's been has he been charged for reckless driving before? He's got two citations on record that I've noted. I'm not sure okay, what for as such, but I know that right, he's got uh, two just, on it. Alright, go run on the computer and see what he's got, because if it's okay. another uh, reckless driving charge, uh, three strikes and he's out. Yeah, Rog. Yeah, it's going to be reckless driving twice, citing officer being you yourself, Sarge. Two reckless driving, what, from me? Yes. Both. All right, well, third strike and he's out, so it's up to you. If you want to cite him again, suspend his license, or no, yeah, it's, job, it's up to you. Yes, no, 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 I yeah, tell get back on the bike. Yeah, but no, 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 no. I tell get back you on the bike. about this. Get on the bike right now. Get on the bike, sir. Right. Oh, um, I'm trying to get my side of it, though. Wow. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. He's. If he's had two records. Wait, is this... Those were both yesterday. Is that Peter Stevens? Yes. Yeah, I told hey. him yesterday that he was actually like. He was one citation away from going to jail. So yeah, at this point in time, this is his third strike. He caught him doing over 100 miles an hour on Joshua. That's uh, 60 miles over the speed limit. Um, yeah, just get him off taking to jail. Yeah, he's had no, enough no, warnings. No, no, no. Alright, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, and then just right? make sure you uh, arrest him for reckless driving as well. Oh yeah, and don't worry about then that. Then cite him for a better to maintain. Yeah. For so what? what did I just say? Get back on the bike. I don't give a shit what you said. Get on the bike now, sir. Get on the bike. Yeah. Get yeah. on the bike. Actually, no, turn around and put your hands up. Turn around and put your hands up right now. What are you going to do? High five me? No, I'm going to arrest you. That's what we're going to do. So turn around and put your hands up. Right now. I dealt with you yesterday and you said to me, if I threw my citation on the floor. Turn around. No, right let me now. finish. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll get back oh, on the bike in a minute. Right. Let you uh, listen to turn, me. Turn around. Stop being belligerent, as otherwise you're going to get tased. Turn as around a right citizen, now. I have food on Turn around right now. So at the minute, you're red dotted. Get off the bike. Get off the bike. The bike. Oh, mate, your fucking mind Turn up. Is it on? Is it off? Face away. Right, face away from us. Get your hands on your Turn head. Turn around or you're catching the lightning, dude. You need to catch my fist between your fucking cheeks, mate. Get Should on your fucking knees now. Get on your fucking knees. Can't the floor's Can dirty. Get on your fucking knees now. I'll do the floor's dirty. Ask Metro units if they want to... Stays, stays, stays. ...join the same rate. 210, Taser deployed. Ah, uh, use a solar. Ten four, stand by. Right, mate. At this time, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, will be provided to you by the court of by the state of San Andreas. At any point during questioning, you have the right to request an attorney. And this right is concurrent throughout the process. Okay. These rights of mine. I can't talk. But I don't get a speech, no? 
33 Foxtrot. Do you understand your rights? No. No. Because that, whatever his to Sandy factor, whatever his name is, we dealt, I dealt with him whatever sure it was. And he said to me, and he knows this, that my so first citation, I flew on the floor. So right. technically, uh, it's sure, not a police just, strike. At this no, point in time, just, just cite him. Um, or just put, put him in cuffs and put him in the back of your car. Yeah, Rog. Yeah. You should take his uh, crash helmet off so I don't want to get headbutted by him. Can you yeah, I'm gonna headbutt you. Once he's in cuffs. Right at, right so I Come on, I feel comfortable with that Alright, I'm gonna I'm see if uh, Captain Valentine is free to come down it. Oh, okay. never mind. Uh, Stand up. The 20s are gonna be heading westbound Joshua Road, Paralada, San Diego. I believe it's gonna be occupied. Where have I had to get up? I'm coming. Alright. Mr. Stevens, what did I say to you? You said to me, I said, if I put my citation on the floor, you rewrote it, you rewrote it, and therefore I kept yes. that one. Yes. Yes. So there's, I cited you twice last night for two reckless driving. Or not, sorry, not last night, last week, sorry. Two nights. Two weeks, or sorry, a week ago I cited you twice within about ten minutes for reckless driving. Okay? This is your third strike. Second. Uh, now, if you had a complaint. He's got excess cash in his wallet as well at the minute. I'm not sure how much, but if you want to count it. Nah, just put it on the hood for now, even the wallet, and we'll get to that in a minute. Raj. Still continuing. Caution harmony now. 33, when it's clear, I'm going to pass you if that's alright with you. Make it all left hand turn and going off road. Alright, mate, you might feel a bit of a pinch here. Just going to take your taser prongs out. I had to deal with these. I'm used to it. Should be still a two strike because I threw my first one on the floor. So I cited you last week for two reckless driving citations within 10 minutes of each other. Okay. How is it two? Let me just double check. Batch, there were definitely you signed on both of them. Okay, one you recited at three zero, uh, sorry, three thousand panorama. The second one you recited, uh, you recited at three zero three six for reckless driving. Two separate locations, two separate charges at two separate times. All right, one was at one one thirty four a.m. First one, I threw it out on the floor, and you rewrote it. Yes, the first one I rewrote for you because you threw it on the floor. And I'm then like about 10 minutes in. later, I caught you again doing the same stuff, and I cited you again for it. And I told, I told you, you if you do it I a third time, by two dudes and you could, you could have pulled over and you, you could have come to the station, you could have died number one. There's plenty of things you could have done, instead you decided to drive right. No, they wanted my bike. I'm not going to come to you. Well you could have come to the station, like... you would have been safe there. I would instead have you decided to drive right. Inside. You got parked upside. No, I didn't trust my bike outside so your station. I told you one pulled a gun out, but you didn't do nothing. Sir, I told you, visually, if I didn't see it, there's nothing I could have done. Well, there you go then. Came to the I station, filed an official report, we could have actually had it on documentation. Instead, it was you driving around recklessly. No one to blame but yourself, sir. This is your third strike, and you're out. Technically, I'm not out. Alright, you're out. I'm not out. Right. Now, how much money has he got in your wallet? She's uh, left. She's right. going into some guard. She's heavy off roading again. Going sixty for that last round. Uh, I haven't managed to count it yet. Alright, I'm gonna count each of these vehicles. Two uh, I... more lost. I. No, I went out. You do realize you're kicking. Uh, you're kicking the bars, three, yeah, sir. I'll get you kicking the bars till the cows come home. Right, stand right, by just, one batch. Uh, just arrest him for, um, or add a destruction to government property to his charge as well, then. He's gonna keep kicking the window. It's fine with us, like, just let him. It's fine. He'll pay for the window anyway, so. She's gonna be behind you. She's gone south now. Right, mate, you don't stop kicking. I'm gonna put, the, put a load of this in your face, you understand? Maybe. 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 Right. 
well, you best stop Take kicking the, the car because if you don't, you will be getting sprayed as well. And then we're gonna get leg, we get and then we're gonna get leg restraints and a spit hood on you. So I'll just kick one of you. It's fine. No, you I ain't paying for dental. Yeah, you wanna try me? All right, sure. Just leave him in there. Um, if he damages the window, just uh, charge. He's charging extra for that, there anyways. Then, yeah. So if he damages the window in any way, just slide him for damage to government property, and then actually, um, the department will sue him to repair the window. So it's fine. Yeah, I'll right. Shoot the seat. Okay. Then it's plastic. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm gonna search his bike. Make sure he's got nothing hidden. I don't think there's gonna be anything you can hide on here, but just to double check. Yeah, it's time for I'll uh, get this evidence back in the trunk. Yeah. Alright, bike's clear. Um, I'm gonna text County, get him to pick it up. I'm not gonna use the radio. Okay, mate. Yeah, just run it through, CAD. Uh, have you run the plate, did you? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I ran this plate yesterday. Yesterday all came back clean and clear, so. Oh, not yesterday, sorry, last week. Um, yeah, Raj. So, yeah. Is he still registered and short and everything on your ranger? Yeah. Due to the right. suspect disappear. Okay. If you want to take him 10 15, then. Charlie 203 to any county. Do we got enough information on this person to fill out a warrant? Yeah, Raj, that much. 33 to 03. I've got the 28 for that, but. Oh, God. Oh. Copy. There's a fly on your uh, you the RO. Rambar. I didn't get a chance to grab information yeah. on the initial uh, trap. Right, I'm gonna um, get. I'm gonna at least get the copy to that. Twenty-eight coming to the now. I hear you guys the radio. Raj. What was that, sir? That I'm gonna get the um, arrest report Back and citations done up now. Just so then, at least if you do need anything else, I'll be on scene. And then once I've got those prepped Ten, to five. sign, I will uh, transport them down to Sandy and get them all signed down at the station. Okay. Alright, just give me a shout if you need anything, Sarge. Yep, okay. I'm just waiting for County Tour. Go ahead and fill out a and go kick in this person's door. Good copy. Dispatch to Cherry 203. Hey, go ahead. Am I able to lift the signal 100? A firm, it's gonna be, have to be reactivated here shortly. We're gonna be uh, doing a search warrant on a. Alright, uh, you take me to jail then, yeah? Oh. Yeah, Rog. I'm just. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I just so, looked in the um, penal code. <coughs> um, well, I'm doing these. And yeah, it's it's either like jail or the seven hundred fifty dollars citation, or you can do both if you wish. Right, they shouldn't exceed that. Yeah, I'm so. doing a citation first. What do we want to add on to the citation? Uh, three hundred five to three hundred seven. I mean, you could add the reckless driving, being as though he did, good. he was seen. Well. Be advised, 203 is requesting mm. us to uh, activate and Oh, that's definitely going on. I've got up. failure to maintain lanes, reckless drive, and I'm going to be adding speeding Some onto it. Yeah. 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 And you Let's clocked him at over 110 miles an hour, so yeah, it's definitely um, speeding uh, 25 plus. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. And then uh, slap the reckless driving citation on top of that, and Some then also arrest him for reckless driving, and then. Wait, so sorry, three to all counties. Sorry, Go ahead, me and Sandy. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, and then actually notify them that his license is going to be suspended as well for a certain amount of time because that's the third strike now. Yeah, I've got a break here and head yeah. to Sandy. So I'll, if you need him, just give me a shout. Yeah. What? What? Just um, before you go, what do you say the charges were again? For arresting him. Yes. Uh, arresting for reckless driving. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, just cite him for speeding, failure to maintain lanes, and reckless driving, and then arrest him for reckless driving. Yeah, okay. And, and then just notify a city that is. And destroy uh, yep. government property, all that. 
throw yeah. that on as well. Um, uh, check and see if your windows damage your windows damage, then go ahead. If it's not, leave that one out. But just notify C or the DMV or whatever that uh, his license is going to be suspended for. I think it's like 15 days or something. I think it is or 30 days. I can't remember. Yeah. Right. Uh, but they'll know anyway, so it's fine. Okay. All right. You stay safe. You too, mate. You go one touchdown mission around. So that's okay. that. Alright man, this can be a citation for reckless driver speed and failure to maintain lanes. You can sign it if you want. If you don't want to, I can just put refusal to sign it. here. It's not a problem. I ain't gonna sign it. Two ten, cool. Two ten, did you copy the last transmission about meeting at San Diego? Ten, bro, I'm on route now, heading down Snore Freeway. Copy, two thirty six, are you as all in route? Uh, negative. I've got one ten fifteen at this time. I'm gonna be unable. Copy, when you get clear off your 1015, you just go ahead and uh, stage up at San. 10 4, sir. Alright mate, again, uh, this is going to be your arrest report. You can either sign it or I can sign it. Refusal to sign up to you. Refusal. Cool. I can't, yeah. It's all wired. Alright, mind oh, your head, you stepping out. Um, right. shield. What's up, Captain? There you are. Just, uh, two secs. Yep. Help, Sarge. Uh, here's the arrest report and the citation. It's all been filled out on scene. Cell one. Cheers. Okay, it's, like, stupid bright in here. Holy fuck. My eyes. So it's not just me that... Holy you're fuck. Right. Piss. Ooh. Your people must have changed the oh. light bulbs. My god, dude. Whoo! Okay, sorry about that. Okay, shield! Hello. Where, where's shield? Shield, behind you. Uh, right there. Oh. Go ahead and go get a big vest on. Rog. Uh, we're getting an extra edit. question to potentially do this like outside. If I can see. Well, it's really bright in here for you, is it? Me blindingly. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you are outside. Fetamines and piss. Welcome to the county. Right. Okay. I get, I get the feeling I'm kind of piggy in the middle here. Oh uh, yeah, we're all gonna... Nah, nah. Freaking, gang imagine bang. not being an SRU, stupid nah. freaking oh. shield. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but someone closed the applications for it. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, batch. Um, <laughs> I mean, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Alright, so obviously, uh, you know what we're all dealing with here. Um, Pretty, pretty plain and, and plain and simple. They keep ducking and weaving, uh, evading law enforcement, drunk as shit on a bike, recklessly driving throughout the county. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and extradite the uh, search warrant on that person's house, um, and potentially have that as a as a full-on arrest warrant. Um, but we're gonna try to get in contact with the DA right now. Um, basically, I need 
Shield and Stanford to kind of block down the road while we approach this house and stuff like that. And hopefully the subject is home, I'm potentially drinking more when we get there. Um, and then when we get there, it's going to be all hell breaks loose. It's going to be flashbang in, get the fuck in there, and do our thing. So, okay, Is this subject known to be armed or what? Um, I have no idea. Probably not, but... I don't put it against people up here in the county. Stanford. Yes, sir. Go, go put on a big vest for me. Yes, sir. Big, thick, big, thick one. Big, thick nice one. Yeah, 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 nice and warm, nice and toasty. Toast to your buns. Uh, what's the word, uh, Lieutenant Wade? Did we get clearance from DA? Oh uh, well, I visually did. Our vi ver I verbally did. Uh, did oh, okay, you? cool. No, no, I did not. But I just want to make sure that you got it. I let me let me make sure, bro. Actually, actually, okay. you 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 text the DA. I, I already did. I already texted him before you you uh, went on the phone with him. Shut your mouth, Smith. Oh, I can't even hear Smith, dude. <laughs> yeah, I can't even hear him. Either. Yeah, no, no, it was, it was something else. Uh, it was something else. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm concerned. Uh, I've under well being. I think you should sit this one out. Yeah, you said uh, we're pretty unorganized, so I'm gonna lick him. Who the freak are you talking to, Smith? 305, 344. I didn't say nothing. 344, go. <laughs> you the magic of those, uh, Some magic of those ear pieces. It's almost like you can be standing um, and you can't hear him out loud. Batch, can you go retrieve Juggernaut? Oh, it does a lot. Yep. Can we not call it that? Um, Can we just call it like an MRAP? An MRAP? That's, that's Juggernaut. Yeah. Are oh you my God. Are you are feeling you okay? Y'all got a 911 call. It's right there. It's I right think there. we all just show up and scare him <laughs> off. Right there. Hey, sir, can you see oh, my Hey, sir! Right? Let's I'll just all show up and scare him off. Do a backflip. Oh. You'll oh, see what happens. About to show someone who's boss. It's not funny. That... Two thirty six, ten ninety seven. Uh, sorry, ten twenty three. Hang on, sir. Come in to get you now. Huh? Uh huh? Who are you? What's happened? Why are you up here? Uh, I, I come here to think. Right, mate, I'm gonna need you to step off now. No messing around either. Come on. Why? Why do I have to get off? Because you provide a serious risk of harm to yourself and to others. Oh, fine. Right. I'm gonna hold on to you just so you don't fall, and then um, we're gonna get you, okay. and we're gonna get you up the ladder. Oh, sorry, down the ladder. Come on. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go first, and then I want you to follow me, okay? Because we've had people right. fall off this ladder before, and it's never good. Okay. Right. Come on. Okay. Come on, sir. Easy, does it? Seem, it seems like the letter doesn't want to work for me. Right, okay. Just uh, sit tight. Right, let's sell it down. Current post was up one, two, five. Subject wearing a pink hoodie, blue pants. Hey, are you good? Hey, uh, can you just check this guy over? There's nothing criminal here, but I've got a briefing. To attend to, because I think we've got a warrant raid about to happen. 
Yeah, 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 no problem. Thanks, King. Sir. 236 is going to be back tonight. Yes. Hello? 236305. Go ahead. Uh, can you just sit hey, down for me? Assist, uh, 344. I just want to make sure you're alright. Nathan, active 1070. Temple was 120. Those was 7125 in the elevator. Temple on the way. Step on. Show me a match for jurisdiction. Size at this time. Temple, what's the suspect description? It's gonna be a female wearing a pink hoodie, blue jeans, white shirt, last postal 7117. Temple. Go ahead. I'm going to be staging on the four side of that dirt road, that means down to the bottom of the park. Sorry. Copy. No luck. Yeah, no luck so far. She was juking out in between these alleyways, and when I got on foot, she was uh, hopping some walls and got me mixed up and next thing you know she was running down that way she made a left so my prediction she is in here somewhere um, yeah but it's been a minute so she could be gone at this time what's i need more scarf than just a pink hoodie mate so you uh, pink, on ground. pink hoodie blonde hair uh blue jeans she was white okay or, or i believe she was white from what i saw yeah no dramas i'll keep an eye out for you mate Thank you. Do you want me to stay in the area, or am I right to go assist with this uh, warrant? So got eyes on a you can go ahead and assist him. Subject fine. down on the Tip road one. behind the back. Right. I'll uh, head back here once I'm clear on that warrant, mate. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Two thirty-six, Charlie. Two or three. I'm available for tasking. If you want me to uh, head to that warrant location. 
It looks like the subject's on me. DOA? We're gonna go in. Simple. Two thirty six three forty four. I'm gonna remain on uh, in the area with you then. Search for this individual. Traffic is literally non-existent now. Oh. What the hell? Three point five. We have one subject in custody at this time. Seven four. What's your twenty? Nearest post is seven one two seven Alta, please. Ten four. I'll uh, travel to the area. Spanish Avenue. Ten four. Watch your head for me. We can talk some more no, in the can I, vehicle. Can I stay out of the car, please? Oh. Yeah, you'll get a... Alright. So, we had that Zoom 100 up, so I wasn't able to really call it back out. But yeah. I saw her running down this way. Uh -huh. I was able to catch up to her on foot. Right. Uh, she finally stopped down here. I went ahead and searched. And I had found uh, a phone wallet basic stuff but also found uh, one and a half pounds of weed ah uh, right okay who's the individual uh here let me just check the wallet real second i haven't really got to that point yet no worries have you patted her down yeah i got the wallet uh phone keys right. all that good stuff on the trunk right there okay. let me just take a look in the wallet yeah roger i'll check wallet Why, but this name is ringing a bell for me. Well, I can go ahead and search it up if you want to talk to her real quick. Yeah, it's him for okay. Alright, she, she's gonna be on the passenger side. Rudge. Oh. Slick or smooth moves? Something. Hey, ma'am. Uh, Deputy Wilshield, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Do you, um, have I. Had a run in with you in the past. Yeah. Don't. Raj, was that 24 7 or by uh, Sandy? Charlie 203. Right. Yeah. Be advised, we have not found Okay, what, what, what's, what's going on uh, here? 
I just didn't want to go back to jail. Right. And why? I mean, what? What's that? What's your story of events here then? Well, okay. Well, like I got in a really bad car accident, and they like knew like my like drug dependence and the history and stuff. So they didn't really want to give me that many like that many pain meds. So I just needed something to relieve the pain. So I went and I bought some stuff, and and then I, I just didn't want to get caught. Zero five two zero three. Right, so what did you, what did you take? Uh, what's your 20? Me, uh, with the car. Well, I, I've only uh, smoked one blunt, but I, like, I had the rest of it on me. Right, okay. And how, how long ago did you smoke that joint? I don't know, 10 minutes. Right, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I really was trying to get better. Like I, I stopped. I stopped the alcohol, and and I went and, and for a couple of days. Right. Just sit tight. All right. Um. What's, what's your story of events with this incident? All right. So, uh, original call. I guess it's supposed to report up there. Right. And uh, when I rolled up on the scene, she just booked it. She started running. Uh, as you know, I lost eyes when she was hopping those walls or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I was in the area, looked around. I saw her in the alleyway to my uh, right, or not in the alleyway, on the road, on the sidewalk. She saw me. She started booking it running. Um, I was able to catch her up to her, though, because she didn't cut any alleys this time. Uh, right down the, the sidewalk, right behind you. She was still running. I put up my taser. I told her I'm going to tase her. She don't stop. She ended up stopping and, um, you know, complied. Okay. Um, have we got any evidence of her being DUI yet, or if she's linked to the motor vehicle in question? Because <clears throat> she's saying she got in a car accident of some kind. I did not see any cars or anything. Right. I think she's talking about like a past incident because they wouldn't yeah. give her any pain medication due to her past. Okay, so what the original call was a suspicious person, was it? Yeah, a suspicious person. It is a, per it is a female and a male. Uh, there's no male located. I haven't asked her yet about any information about him. Okay. Um, out of interest, how much cannabis have you found on her? Uh, it's one and a half pounds. So is that is that a misdemeanor as such, or is that serious? Um, I'm gonna have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's serious. Because I'm pretty sure misdemeanor is like under 10 grams, if I remember correctly. Right. Okay. I, I was gonna, gonna say even. Sure. Yeah. I was gonna say even half a one pound and a half is... pounds is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't any scales or anything on it, but um, normally when they have carried that much amount, it's normally more than just personal use. Yeah, Rog, I've got scales in my charger. Let me uh, bring around. Let's see what we got here. Just to confirm, then we're not talking about um, we're not talking about any sort of DUI or RTC. No, no, she didn't drive or anything. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was my main concern because you know, that, yeah, you know, at, at this point we've got what possession and you know fleeing and eluding and such. Mhm. Mm okay. Uh, scales are coming back to about 500 grams, mate. Damn.
Um, okay, I... I don't know what you want to do with her, um, but she has been signed up to a rehabilitation program in the past. Um, yeah. So I don't know what you want to do about that. She does have, if I'm correct in thinking, she is a Go vulnerable ahead. person yeah, that she's the, on uh, her own. Gonna be a D if, um, and she is under the rehabilitation. A so mm. that might be a considerable factor when talking to the judge. Um, but, I mean, as much as I would love to, you know, do something with her, the amount of cannabis that is on her, I just, I can't, I can't even, yeah, not even argue. Like, like if, if it was only a little bit, I would have tried to cut something, but. Oh, straight up, like, even 500 grams, it's like, I'm surprised she's not going down for possession with intent to supply kind of thing. So, if anything, yeah. that's a bonus. Yeah, I, I mean, possession to the supply, <laughs> um, I actually just got off the radio with my supervisor. Mm -hmm. Um, it is, uh, in the case with that much, even when it's bricked, not like individually bagged, no scales, whatever, just the oh. sheer amount that is, um, we file that under intention to distribute. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. Well, but, yeah. Because it's way more than personal use, like. Yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna say, it's... <sighs> yeah. It's... Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm it's kind of really annoyed. Much. But yeah, there's nothing much that we can do here. Yeah, we really can't cut any breaks. No, no, I understand that, mate. Um, yeah. mm, so, and then what well, you've got the fling and eluding on top of that because she's had the possession yeah. of the cannabis. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, okay. I mean, I guess one bonus is that she didn't have any rolling papers or anything on her, so we can't really get her with like or like a bowl or anything. So well, she's not gonna get possession of paraphernalia, the, the actual drugs itself. Yeah, I mean, I'm not being funny, but she literally told me she smoked a joint probably 15 minutes ago now. That's probably like the only paper she had then. Yeah, so she's kinda lucky in some respect. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. I guess at this point, um, I'm just gonna take her to Mission Row, read her her rights, tell her what she's charged for, go from there. Yeah, Roger, mate. Okay. Um, yeah. Right, I'm gonna get the skills back and then head up to County. Alright, sounds good. Thank you for coming out and helping me with this. Yeah, no, anytime, mate. Anytime. Alright, take it easy, Price. Alright, you too. That's annoying because uh, I can't remember which episode it was now, guys. I'll find it at some point. But yeah, I had a run in with Beckford up in Sandy in regards to it, and we got signed up with a rehabilitation program, and I managed to get her let off with the charges for the time being. But oh, that's so annoying. Oh, dude, charges back to shit. 236 County. Gonna be 10 8, sorry, 10 6, code 4, returning to county jurisdiction. Oh, God. So important.
Two awards in terms of. Straight up almost them into the side of me. God damn. Uh, who was the primary on that call originally? Wasn't that Shield? Uh, was what me? Shield was the uh, the attached car. I was the one that made initial contact. Shit! What are you? What are you throwing me in now? Well, who, uh, whoever took primary on that uh bike pursuit with the drunk person, that's your arrest report. Cause I don't know who it was. God damn it! Uh, Name's gonna be a Dino. Uh, uh, forty-two. Name's gonna be a, yeah, yeah. I'll be forty-two from now. Good night. Dino Dunstan. That's gonna be their name. So. Adams or Shield, if you guys want to do it. If not, let me know and I'll take it and I'll write the report for it. I'll be funny, mate, but I terminated the pursuit. I never made an arrest on it. Okay. Uh, Corporal Adams, do you want to take the arrest or do you want me to do it? I mean, I suppose I can. Did we actually get her into custody? Or them into custody? Uh, they were in cuffs and they were uh, transported to Pillbox Medical. So they'll be there ready for us to pick up. Or County DOC will pick them up. I'm not entirely sure what all charges were on there, because I know that the initial uh, call went out for a DUI and something else, but then they fled from me while being DUI, so I at least have those two. But then they yeah, so also drive them while intoxicated. Um, yeah, so they'd be driving while intoxicated, and then... <clears throat> um, isn't there a charge for, like, an open beer can or something? Because you, didn't you say they passed a beer can or something to, to the driver? Or something like that? Uh, back passenger was drinking it while they were driving. Did the and driver take any of it? Over, the passenger passed the thing up to the driver and then the driver passed it back and took off. Okay, so maybe get him for that as well and then I'll see, um, uh, was putting the eluding, that'd be what, at least times two, um, yeah, and I don't know what else to really get them for. I wasn't even really attached to that call, I was just here for the, uh, like the arrest, that was it. So I really, like, wasn't paying attention to what was going on. Uh, maybe reckless driving as well. Maybe they're driving or reckless endangerment or vehicle endangerment. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go in and get changed and go home. So I'll switch you guys next shift. Yeah. Okay, mate. Um, I'm probably gonna call it here as well. Um. Yeah. yeah. Are you staying on Adams or are you gonna go off?
The train? Something like that, yeah. Roger. Mm, 210 is gonna be 107, 1042. Have a good night, guys. Turn behind yourself. 226, same traffic. 226, same traffic. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the stream, and uh, until the next time guys, uh, stay tuned and take care. Bye guys. Yeah!